new and only on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, a man comes face to face with two intruders who broke into his house. Police are now searching for the men behind the East Atlanta home invasion. And tonight I spoke with the homeowner who explained how he scared off those crooks. I just kind of instinctually knew that someone was in the house that shouldn't be there. Voices on another side of a door. That's what this man, who only wants us to use his first name, Thomas, says happened before he came face to face with home invaders. As he was opening a door, I grabbed it out of his hand and ripped the door open. Confronting two men, possibly in their late teens, inside a hallway of his house on Stokeswood Avenue. First thing in my voice in the back of my head said, Viking instinct. And I didn't have a weapon, so I knew that I was either going to get killed or kill. But Thomas says he didn't end up having to fight at all. Lurching into these guys, screaming at the top of my lungs like I was going to kill them. The lead guy jumped back into his buddy, pushed him over, and pushed him into a mirror, which smashed. They dropped a bag. The guy on the floor just looked at him, and the a guy on top said, just get up and go. Here's some of the damage from the crime Friday night. And they bashed in the mirror, which has been cleaned up subsequently. Thomas's roommate, Stephanie, wasn't at home at the time, but has called for neighbors to be more watchful since the incident. Some are even trying to pull together home surveillance footage that may have captured them in. The roommates believe the intruders pried open a front door to get inside the house. And for someone to come in and just intrude and like walk over my paper and shuffle through the things on my desk to touch my computer. They they packed the, my my backpack with my computer. It's really disconcerting to have someone in your house. It's it's such an intrusion. They made some really bad decisions, and they're lucky they didn't pay for it. You know, and hopefully they're scared so much that they're going to reconsider their choice for a profession. 